Hey YouTubers, it's me Cameron Strickland, and today I have with me the voice actor behind Caillou Stad Boris on Caillou, Pat Fry. How are you? I'm well. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you. I'd for like to say hello to, to to all of Cameron's viewers today. I'm doing well. Good. Now, for any of the guys who don't know. Pat is a actor and voice actor, best known for the PC computer game for My Little CD Tots, and for the films such as Star Doom, Punisher War Zone, Dead Awake, and many more. Uh, yes, that's correct. I didn't have any big parts in those movies. But I was in them. Yes. And he was part of Caillou, where he got to perform and he voiced Caillou Stad in the show. Hey, Caillou, I'm talking to Cameron today. <laughs> and uh, he was here right now. And uh, he was part of all right. He was here right now. So glad you have you. It's nice to be there. All right. Your nephew, Johnny, is a puppeteer. Yes, he is. And he's the angry unicorn. Okay, I don't actually know much about what he does. He lives in Toronto, and uh, so I don't see him very often, but I know he's very creative. You might know him even more than I do, you know, uh, because I just don't really see him. So I can't tell you much about what he's doing, um, but I know that he is a puppeteer and that he's very creative. It's always good to be creative, that's for sure. Yes. And he was the owner of webvoicer.com. Well, no, I'm the owner of webvoicer.com, not Johnny, just to make it clear. And webvoicer.com is a company that provides voiceover services, mostly for online computer learning or e-learning, people who take courses where there's a narrator, um, they will hear either my voice or my son, AJ, is a voice. And there are other people that I record and produce to provide the voices for e-learning. That's the term is most common is e-learning. All right. Let's start with our first question. All right. How did you first, how did you get interested in voice acting? Well, I was interested in acting from a, a, when I was a child and I used to watch children's programs and programs that there were child actors in them. And I always thought that it would be fun to do that. There, there was a program called Lassie on when I was a, a, a young boy and there was a boy about my age on Lassie. And this would be in uh, the very early 1960s. So we would watch Lassie, and I would think to myself, I could do that. That would be fun. And uh, anytime I would see a, a, a child actor in a TV show or in a movie, that's what I wanted to do. And then later, uh, after I finished high school, I did some acting in plays in high school. And after I finished high school, I got into radio and became a radio announcer. And as a radio announcer, I, I used to make a lot of radio commercials. So I started to be able to do characters for my radio commercials. And eventually that led to me um, doing more voice acting things. But really it was my son, AJ, who became a cartoon voice first. He was in Arthur. He was one of the terrible Tibble twins. And he was in a cartoon series called, um, I think it was called Little Lucy. And um, 
he was uh, a crybaby Alvin was his character. So I would drive him from our house in the town of Ottawa to Montreal, where they recorded the cartoons. And eventually I convinced the talent coordinator to let me audition for something, anything. And they let me audition for Caillou. And I was fortunate enough to get the part of Caillou's dad. And that's when that's when I got into cartoon voiceover. I, I had done a little bit uh, of it here and there, one or two sentences. I had done some video game voiceover. So, uh, but I was really happy to do Caillou's dad because Caillou is a beautiful cartoon. And um, it's, um, it's filled with a, a lot of good times, but good lessons for children too. And also good lessons for parents. Nice. So what was your first on camera debut? Uh, let me see. Uh, I guess um, I, I don't actually remember my first one. I, I started to do um, background movie acting and um, in Ottawa, where this is where they just need people to walk past or maybe I was behind the counter in a bookstore um you know i'm selling books but i had no lines so that would sort of be the the debut uh, on, of being on camera and eventually um i think one of my first lines was uh, in a it was a, a legal movie and i don't even remember the name of it and uh, but i remember my line i was a jury foreman and my line was your honor we find the defendant not guilty. So that was my first line in a movie. And that was a long time ago. But uh, then I got other movie roles. And also I was doing Caillou. And um, I think probably the one that most people know me from is from Punisher, The War Zone. Um, that was seen by a lot of people. And uh, it might be my most prominent movie role. But I was also in stardom and and other movies, but never really big parts. You know, uh, those are for big parts are for handsome guys. I'm just a smart guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you that I want to welcome to you my new web series, Cameron's Nostalgia Podcast. Well, congratulations on your debut as the host of your show. How do you feel about that? I'm doing good. And what are your plans for your show? Why don't you share with your viewers what you hope to do in future episodes? Where do you want to go with your nostalgia show? Well, I was supposed to interview voice actors, puppeteers, animators, and many more. Well, that sounds like fun. And and I got to be your very first one. All right. So what else can I tell you? Well, what was it like working on my little CD Tots? That was fun because my little CD Tots was created by a couple of gentlemen who lived about five blocks from our house in Ottawa. And they worked for um, Toys R Us, the toy store, as developers. And they did a lot of their accounting software. But they were very creative, and they created games. And one of the games they created was Jeffrey Goes to the Fair. And that was Jeffrey, the mascot for Toys R Us. And myself, my son AJ, my other son Mickey, my niece Erin. And, and several other people did the voice work for Jeffrey Goes to the Fair. And then they came out with My Little CD Tots, which is a, it's a, a CD. There's storytelling on the CD, which I do the voice of the storytelling. And it comes with a doll, an actual doll to, to, for the children to play with. And there's a, a, a lady on the CD who tells stories. And that's my wife. She did the voice for that. So it was. it's always a lot of fun when you can work with people in your family 
and uh, everybody works together. In my career, I've worked with nieces, nephews, cousins, brothers, sisters. Anytime I could hire one of my family, I would, and uh, it always worked out well. It's, it's, it's a great thing to be able to share your experience with the people in your family. It, it helps to bond your family together. Nice. And uh, I used to have some DVDs and VHS copies of Caillou. Like this one. Ah, uh, yes. And that's mom and Caillou having a tender moment looking at a book. And those are the puppets. Oh, yes, there they are. And th there was a program, a television program at one time, uh, which was a little different than the Caillou show. And they had li live action puppets. And, and it was more like um, it was more like Sesame Street and uh, featured Caillou. But that's that only lasted for a little bit. And then they went back to cartoons. Nice. What about the Caillettes? They're live action kids who always dances in backgrounds in animation. What was that again? Caillettes? Yes, they're live action kids. They are dancers. Oh, I never heard of them. That's the first I've heard of them. They were in that show, were they? Yes, they were on public television. Ah, okay. PBS. No, I, I, I can't comment on that because I, I honestly don't recall them, but I'm, I'm getting old these days, you know, and my memory ain't what it used to be. And uh, I did show you this. Mm -hmm. Caillou with a backpack looking at the sheep. Uh, Be careful, Caillou. If you count too many sheep, you might go to sleep. Uh, hmm. Dr. Caillou and Rosie. I think Rosie feels better already, although Rosie was a nurse there. Hmm. And there's Caillou getting ready to go to the beach. Caillou's summer days. Those were always fun cartoons to do. Oh, sorry. And there's Caillou splashing in puddles. I used to do that with my, my two sons when they were Caillou's age. We would go out in the parking lot near our home after it rained, and we would splash in puddles together. That's always lots of fun. I bet you did that. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And... And this would be maybe Caillou, the businessman. I see he's got a tie on and um, he has a nice haircut, very short. And he's off to work, Caillou. Good for you. Mm -hmm. And, oh, I can't remember Caillou's friend's name. Do you remember? Leo. Ah, yes, Leo. Uh, yes, I remember Leo now, and uh, yes, Caillou and Leo had some good times together, and some problems every once in a while, as I recall. They're on a swing. Yes, they're, they're a couple of swingers. They're having a good time, summer activity. Mm. In the last VHS. And Rosie's having a sleep, and Caillou's tucking her in so she'll have a good dream. Kai is always taking care of Rosie, almost always. Sometimes they they were just like any brother and sister and might not get along, but most of the time they love each other very, very much. And that's a nice thing to see. Thank you, Caillou. Oh, I forgot to show another tape. So now we see your room. You have lots of nice puppets and books and videos. I'm just talking while you're getting what you're getting. Thank you. Here's Here we go. What is it we're looking at? Another Caillou video. What will it be? It's the mystery of the Caillou video. Here he is. What have we got? Ah, Fall Splendor. And that's a good a good Caillou video, and I love fall. Do you love fall? Do you like when the leaves turn? 
Yes. And, and everything is colorful. That's my favorite season. And um, uh, we used to live in Ottawa. I used to live in Ottawa. And uh, there's a big park north of Ottawa called Gatineau uh, Hills. And it's just beautiful in the fall. So um, I'm sure that, it, that Caillou would have loved to have gone there. We used to take our kids and the piles of leaves could be over six or seven feet tall for them to jump in. So that was one of their favorite things to do when they were Caillou's age. Oh, yeah. And for some reasons that your wife, Sharon, did a lot of things. She did some, yes. She's very talented as well. We've been together for a long time. And uh, we started to be boyfriend and girlfriend when we were both 16 years old. And we're still together today. And uh, we're still very happy. She's very creative. She doesn't do as much voice work as I do and not much anymore. But she's done some cartoon stuff and uh, some um, TV commercial voiceover and radio commercial voiceover and e-learning and corporate videos. So she's done it too. For sure. All right. Do you have any Todd Parr books? Todd Park? Todd Parr. No, I, I'm not even familiar with Todd Parr. Maybe you can tell me who Todd Parr is. He's a children's book author. Ah, I should have known. I want to do that myself. All right. He, do you still own... The My Little CD Tots game? Uh, well, we have a copy. We have one copy of it with the doll and the CD. We were given a free copy when, when it came out. So I do have one, yes. All right. It isn't handy or I would I would show you it, uh, but I, I it's down on a shelf it, about two floors down from where I am. So I'm not going to run and get it, but uh, but we do have it, yes. We're very proud of it. All right. And you still have some of the films that you own that you are. Uh, of course. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, and they're, they're, they're good to show and you can see them on my website at patfry.com. You'll see some uh, samples and audio uh, demos and um, samples of, of my work there. But um, um it's always fun to have these things, but it's also professionally a good idea to keep your work handy. Although now work that I did 30 years ago, because my voice has gotten older, um, it's no longer applicable. But my son, uh, who now works for me, um, you know, he does the work of the young men now. And, um, and I do the, the older men when it's called for, which is not very often. So I am, in fact, um, hoping to become a, a, an author of children's books. And uh, I'm working on a little series called If I Were, which is for children ages about two to six, generally speaking. And uh, I'd be happy to read you one of those books now. It only takes about two minutes or, or so to read one. They're, they're quite short. Would you like to hear one? Mm -hmm. Okay, I happen to have one here. Let's see. All right, so it. So this one is called If I Were a Farmer. If I were a farmer, I would wake up before sunrise. It's a busy day. If I were a farmer, I would wear blue overalls and tall rubber boots. If I were a farmer, I would wear a yellow straw hat with a wide brim to shade my eyes from the sun. If I were a farmer, I would keep my tools in a big red barn with white doors and windows. If I were a farmer, I would have cows and chickens and pigs and fluffy sheep and funny goats. If I were a farmer, I would have fresh milk and eggs. It's time for breakfast. If I were a farmer, I would drive a green tractor. If I were a farmer, I would till the soil to make rows for the seeds. 
If I were a farmer, I would water the crops so the plants don't get thirsty. If I were a farmer, I would care for calves and chicks and piglets. I'd give them lots of hugs. If I were a farmer, I would harvest corn, grain, and lots of colorful fruits and vegetables. If I were a farmer, I would take my crops to the market in bushel baskets. Would you like some apples or carrots? If I were a farmer, I would make sure no one is hungry. If I were a farmer, I would invite all of my family and friends to a homegrown supper in my big red barn. I would, if I were a farmer. The end. There you go. And there are a bunch of other ones that I've written like that. If I were a cat, if I were an elf, if I were a wizard, if I were a Martian. So I have a whole series of them just like that. And uh, we hope to have them illustrated in books and, of course, to record them uh, for audio and um, entertain people with uh, the whimsy of thinking about what life might be like if I were something like maybe if if I were a, a, a podcast host uh, might be an idea. Maybe you could do that one. All right. And uh, what about Andy Hayward, the puppeteer? Don't know him. And uh, he Will was... He be a guest? Is he going to be one of your guests someday? Yes. Great. He was Pigs to Bank on The Money Mammals. Oh, yes. And he'll be a guest on your show. And, and uh, that'll be an exciting thing for everyone. All right. All right. And uh he was going to be on my podcast. And hmm. Well. <laughs> you're on Puppet Paper Puppet Playhouse. That's correct. Online, indeed. That's uh traditional nursery rhymes um, or um, the stories like the three little pigs and uh, uh, Goldilocks, that sort of thing. And so I was able to do all of the voices of all of the characters in that series, which you can still find online. Uh, they were produced by a company called Skyship Productions in Toronto. And um, they've done very, very well. Millions and millions of uh, children have watched them. So I'm very proud of that work. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about Mr. Monkey Monkey Mechanic? Again, same company, Skyship Productions. And uh, we, in most of those, I played Santa Claus. Um, you know, I, I, I tended to have a, a good Santa Claus kind of voice. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. I'm Santa Claus. Cameron Strickland has been a very good boy this year. Ho, ho, ho. All right. Well, Pat, thank you so much for your time. Is there anything so else? I... Is there anything else that you like to say? Well, I just like to say it's been a real pleasure, Cameron, and I wish you the very best of luck with your new podcast series. I know it's going to be great. You're you're uh, you ask some very good questions. So people are going to enjoy it. Thank you for inviting me. And it's a, bit, a real honor to be your first guest on your podcast. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. That was Pat Fry. Stay tuned. There will be more guests coming up. Until then, peace. It's time to go now, Pat. All right. Great doing it with you, Cameron. Good luck. All right. Let me know when it's going to air. All right. Bye. Bye. It's going to be on YouTube. Great. I'll look for it. All right. Good luck. All right. Peace.